Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this panel discussion on the West after the Ukraine war. I'm Terry Martin, a journalist and uh, TV news anchor based in Berlin. I'll be your moderator for this session. We have a remarkable group of speakers with us here today to, who will share their views on the implications and lessons of the Ukraine war, a war that has shaken Europe and the world. I'll introduce them in a moment, but first I just want to say how delighted I am to be here. This is my first uh, world policy conference. I want to thank the organizers for inviting me and extend my warm thanks also to Abu Dhabi for hosting this event. Now this session is focusing on the Ukraine war, a topic that has already received some attention at this conference. The uh, Hamas-Israel war may have bumped Ukraine from the uh, front pages, but as we heard yesterday from Ukraine's foreign minister, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is continuing with brutal consistency. Now, what we're dealing with today is, uh, is, is a very difficult topic. We have to be very honest about that. Uh, Mr. Kubela gave us an update on, on where yeah. things stand from his perspective in the Ukraine war uh, right now uh, as his country fights for its survival. In this session today, we're going to be looking at the conflict from a broader, longer term perspective. And that, of course, is no easy task because, as we all know, the war is ongoing. Uh, nobody really knows how it's going to end. Uh, plus, the geopolitical context is rapidly changing. Uh, and what is the West anyway? That's in our title, What is the West? Uh, so for the purpose of this discussion, let's think of it mainly as liberal democratic societies, not limited to the geographical West, uh, who claim to value a rules-based international order. Okay, that's uh, what we're gonna work with as our working definition of the West for this session. So uh, a tough brief for this session, but we'll do our best to get a sense of where the West might be when the Ukraine war uh, is over. Now, fortunately, we have a distinguished uh, group of speakers who are extremely well qualified to reflect on this, and I'll introduce them in, in order. Uh, on my immediate left, uh, Elbe Dorj Tsakyagin. Yes, uh, that's right. Getting, working on that Mongolian pronunciation. He's the former president of Mongolia. Uh, he played a key role in leading the Mongolian revolution democratic revolution. He created the Elbeg Dorch Institute and is a commissioner of the International Commission Against the Death Penalty, a topic that you've spent a lot of time working on. Uh, next is Bogdan Klich. He is a senator in the Polish parliament, currently serving as the chairman of the uh, Foreign and EU Affairs Committee in the Senate. He has served as Poland's Minister of Defense and was a member of the European Parliament as well. Yep. Beyond that, we have Zaki Laidi. He is special advisor to Joseph Borrell, the EU's high representative for uh, foreign affairs and security. He was formerly strategic advisor to the French prime minister. He's been a professor at Sciences Po for 20 years, over 20 years, and he's written numerous books on global affairs. And uh, someone who I'm been, I've been familiar with for a long time. Uh, Norbert Röttgen, we both live in Germany, is a member of the German uh, parliament, the Bundestag. He sits on the Bundestag's Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, he, which he led as chairman from 2014 to 2021. He has served as Germany's environment minister, and I remember being in background talks uh, in Copenhagen with you at an important COP a long time ago. You may not remember, remember that. And he is co-chair of the European Council on Foreign Relations. And joining us from Paris, uh, I hope you all can see him if he has, isn't uh, on, your, on our screen just yet, uh, Uber Vedrine, I hope you can hear me. Uber Vedrine was going to try to join us remotely. His flight, I understand, from Paris uh, had a problem and he wasn't able to join us. He was, he was trying to be here, but uh, perhaps he'll tune in a bit later, I hope so. Uh, but I will go ahead and give him a quick introduction. I mean, he, not that he needs much of an introduction. He's the former um, Minister of Foreign Affairs of France. He's the founder of the Uber Vedrine Consul, a public affairs consultancy. He's written over a dozen books and served as president of the Institut Francois Mitterrand, a French president he was very closely associated with. So, 
Enough introductions. Keeping with the WPC format, uh, we'll hear some intro introductory remarks from each of our panelists, and then we'll get the discussion ho going, hopefully uh, integrating some input from the floor. So as we're discussing up here, please reflect on any questions you might have and uh, save them for, I'm hoping to bring you in during the last third of, of the event. So without further ado, let's uh, get going with our opening remarks. Uh,